Right, hello. After sitting with this for ages, I'm finally going to build it today. Uh, right, I've got all the bits. I've got the bits and pieces. I've got screwdrivers. I've got 10 mil wrenches. I've got a rubber mallet. And I do have a soldering kit, which I will not need. So that can sit over there. Um, right, let's begin. Um, okay, so the instructions tell you to start on here, but I'm actually going to do uh, the body first. So, it's all ready. I've just been round. Some of the holes didn't quite match up. Um, so I've been round and sort of re-drilled some of the holes. The problem was where the holes were, it had the pick guard hanging over the neck pocket here, so the neck wouldn't actually fit. So I've redone those. So, first thing. Grounding wire. Grounding wire has to go through this little hole here and it pops up here. Now that is going to have to connect with the metal, one of the metal posts uh, here. So that is in place and we are happy. Now pickups. So the pickups have little letters on them. N for neck and for bridge. So let's hope I get these the right way around. I'm going to assume, rightly or wrongly, that the one closest to the neck is the neck pickup. Now, as you saw, I chucked the soldering iron box over there because this, these are no solder connections. Look at that. We're actually getting there. This is fun. Uh, so there we go. Those two all set up and ready to go. Let's just drag these out and try and put this in place. Now, these wires, there's an awful lot going on there. Just got to try and make sure they're all in the right place. Right, we don't want this over there we want to put all this nonsense all the wires in the cavity there rather than sitting underneath uh, underneath the, the pickups themselves right now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to plug this in to a little amp i've got here to see before i build the whole thing that the pickups actually work and that i've got the right ones here, so turn that on. Uh, right bridge. Yep, neck and both. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's quite brilliant. So that works. There we go. You can go over there with the soldering kit. Now, what next? Right, next I'm gonna to need to drill some guide holes for these pickups, but before I do that, I'm going to put a couple of screws in, in here, just to, just so I know where I am. So I don't want to screw the pickups in and then find out I'm completely in the wrong place. Hang on, just check that that is out of the way. Still fits. No, it doesn't. I'll upset it somehow. Right. Right, I did this one first time, first last time, and that pulled it all into place. So if I put that in. Right, yeah, that's going to pull that back out of the way. I'm starting to think this isn't going to be as quick as I thought it was. I'll have to keep pausing so you're not stuck there forever. There we go. That'll work. Right, so what we need to do is... Get 
these. Now I'm just going to screw them down a tiny bit just to make a mark. And then I'm going to drill a guide hole for them. Right. Yep, there we go. So we've got our little mark here. I'm going to do this for all four. I'm going to pause you for a second because it's boring. Now, the reason I'm going to do a guide hole rather than just screwing straight into the wood is I don't want it to split. Um, that wouldn't be much fun. As you can see and watch from some of my earlier videos, this has taken quite a bit of effort. I mean, it was fun. It was happily do it again. Actually, since painting this, I've got another guitar, which is pink. And I wanted to have a pink guitar. I'm not sure I want to, so... It might be blue at some point, but let's uh, let's just let's pause that again. So, out the drill, just in a. To be fair, the screws have actually done their job while I was screwing them down. Not not as much this one, so. Not going deep at all, like half a centimetre. There we are. Right, now, springs, these are key to be able to adjust the uh, pickup height. If you just screw it in, then the pickups are stuck um, where they are. So you actually, what you need to do is you need to screw these through and put the uh, springs on them which I'll show you in a wee minute oh, went a bit Scottish there so you put the screw, the springs on can you see that there? springs on and then you're going to screw them down hang on, let me just screw these in a little bit more first I'll do this one and then I'll pause it so you don't have to watch the next one. No point watching me do the same thing twice. Right. Fairly sure there was probably a better way of doing this. Well, they say you learn by doing, don't you? Okay, there we are. Sorry, this is supposed to be an instructional video for people watching, but you're probably just watching and thinking, oh my goodness, that is not how I would do it. Because I sort of thought in my head that the scratch, I should take the scratch plate back off to do this, but you know, kind of going now. This is the awkward moment where it's not working and I pause it and you come back and it's all magic. Okay, so I've taken this off because I couldn't actually see where I was going with this and was uh, missing those guide holes. So, there we go. That's one to remember if you're building one of these. Have a plan. Oh, you're joking. I've dropped a spring somewhere. Right, go make a cup of tea. Found it. Right, so... With the springs in place. Everything's magnetic here, which makes it great fun. Sort of adds to the, either adds to the fun or adds to the challenge, depending on your point of view. I'm going with fun. Am I coming across as a sort of world expert on guitar building? Because, you know, that's what I'm going for. Or bumbling idiot who doesn't know what he's doing. I mean either, you know, hopefully it's interesting to watch and learn. Even if it's learn what not to do. Saw someone build one of these in like 27 minutes and I thought, well how hard can it be? Just, you know, 
put the pieces together. Easy. Put that in the wrong way around, haven't I? Okay, please don't switch off. Okay, there we go, and boom. Now I'm sure there's a really, really good reason not to screw everything down just yet, but I can't think what it is, so I'm going to screw everything down, and then I'm gonna lift it up and show you what it looks like, and then someone's gonna tell me, why is this not fitting, what's in the way? It's all these I feel a little bit too close to the edge here. I mean, not, you know, in terms of my well-being or anything, just... Would I recommend sort of tying all the wires together with cable ties so they stay in place? Probably. I still can't work out why this. There we go. We're good. Right. Square everything down. We can always come back and unscrew it if we need to. Okay. So we're going to be doing this straight. Right, one to go. Look at that, that is looking like a guitar. That's pretty exciting. Right. What do you think? Have a look at that. Oh, silly. Pickups seem to be floating a bit. But once I've got the... Uh, the strings on I can see because I don't want them too close obviously right next got these posts to go on and the stop tail and the bridge stop tail yeah sounds right okay so right you need to hammer these in with a nice soft mallet so that you guys go there. So they are almost flush with the body, actually. Huh. That's pretty good. Um, there we go. Now, you need to take these out. Now, this one, we need to make sure that the wire is touching the metal here so uh, for grounding otherwise you get lots of noise i just know i haven't taken the plastic off here yet oh, that's always one of my favorite jobs with a new guitar okay mallet One of those moments where it's just split. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Good job I was going for the uh, distressed look, you know, the cracks around there. That's all part of the look. Yeah, distressed finish. Nice. Now, um, So I'm just taking a break to do this, just right there, and it's just, there's something about the sound, I love the sound. There is, on my channel, somewhere, a video of me taking, I can't even tell if that's all gone, taking the plastic off a scratch, scratch plate, one of my other guitars, so, you know, 
I just thought that might be something people are interested in. I think about 29 people have watched it in the last year, so it's obviously a very popular one. I'm beginning to feel think this is two layers. Double scratch plate cover. This is so much fun. I'll have to tidy that up later. go. Right, let's get to work on these guys. So we'll screw these back in. Now this will determine the where this uh, stop tail sits. Now depending on the angle you want from there up to the bridge, um, you can have it really low or a bit higher up for a um, flatter angle or a sharper angle. Um, hmm, good. I know which way around that is now. So I will put these in as well. Any sort of issues with height can do, oh, at the moment those, those strings are actually gonna touch, so that might be, don't want to be too low. Look at that. It, Doesn't look straight. Well, that's um, quite a turn up for the looks. Interesting. Well, well, we'll see what happens with that when we get there. Uh, anyone watching? Is there? What's that going to do? Yeah. Well, I'll build it, and if I need to take everything out, fill it, and redrill those holes, so be it. Okay. So, next, we come to the headstock. Where should I put this? I'll just sit it over there. So, this is my, I changed the, the shape, it was just a big chunky block, so um, it's not exactly how I wanted it to look, um, but hey. Now we have here, we have the tuners and then the string trees. So, tuners first. Right, for each one you get the tuner, uh, you get the nut and you get the washer. Right, I wish I had another cup of tea. Uh, okay, so. Tuna goes in the back. Well, I do it like this so you can all see. Tuna goes in the back and you see it's lined up with a little hole there. Uh, so you, you can hold it in place. You turn it round. Um, washer. And nut. And I believe this is a 10 mil. It is. So that's my ten. There we go. Now I'm not tightening up too much. Made that mistake when trying to fix the uh, fix the inlet to the cistern and the upstairs toilet. Got a new bit, tightened it up, thought, I want that really, really tight, particularly with water, you don't want water spraying everywhere. And it snapped, of course it did. Um, so yeah, it becomes a little bit more, more wary now. Um, do you want to watch this? Probably not. You need to make sure as you're doing this that you line up the, uh, line up the hole for the screw. Otherwise, once you've tightened it, it's a bit of a faff to, uh, Make it line up again, which is what I just did while you were away. Right, I'm going to put the screws in the back before tightening that anymore because the more I tighten it, 
needs to move. That would just be the same, wouldn't it? I snapped it. Now, I hope I'm coming across really sort of professional here, like a top luthier. I like the word luthier. It's one of those words you will see on like posts on Facebook groups and things. Everyone goes, oh, I took it to my luthier. And, uh, like, I'm not sure I have a luthier. I, I know people, but I wouldn't say I have a luthier. It's one of those funny words. You say it enough times, it sounds silly. Luthier. Anyone have their own personal luthier? I have people in the guitar shop who know what they're doing. I have a friend who knows what he's doing. Hi, Tim. Um, I wouldn't say I have an on-hand luthier just, you know, sitting in the in the annex in the, the luthier's wing. Oh, I'm talking nonsense now. I'll, uh, I'll pause for a sec. Right, look at that. Pretty psyched. This piece of wood that's been lying around the house for over a year is starting to look like it might be part of a musical instrument. I'm at the back of my head, I've got this horrible, the bridge doesn't line up, feeling it's going to be a disaster. But hey, I'm going to make it anyway. And like I said, if I have to go back and do something, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm unlikely to send it back to Harley Benton now. I've had it for a year and a half. Um, but you know, fun. String trees. Yep. So you've got some little screws here and some little string trees. So there's two of these wee round dudes, which you can't see. Where's the camera? There's the camera. Two of these wee round guys. And the taller one, I believe, goes here. Now you have to put the string trees the right way up so the strings can go underneath them. And then screw them in place. Like so. Little pre-drilled hole, which may or may not be in the right place. Who knows? So if anyone's watching this and thinking, this guy is a complete idiot, why is he doing, why is he trying to show us this? Um, well, for that reason, I'm just, I'm not an expert, but I'm just, maybe people want to see, um, see someone else battle with it to try and make it work. Um, might be helpful. Who knows? How tight do these need to be? I don't know. Do I want that screwdriver? No. That's better. Is anyone there screaming at the screen? Like, what are you doing? You fool. Um, I would have liked that too. Tightened up a little bit. But there we go. Even more guitar-like now. Right. Go away, go away, go away. Right. Shall we? Oh, yeah, I should have taken that off. This. This is where it becomes a real guitar. Now, if we turn this over. 100% sure what this giant, uh, giant holes for here. We have, they give you a little uh, plasticky dude and this metal one. So I thought I'd have it engraved with uh, my, I, no I didn't, I'm being silly. Right, let's just uh, hope they line up. In fact, I'll go and check um, just I don't want the whole neck to split. Give me a sec. Okay, we're back. I definitely didn't do a sort of test run there while you were away. Um, and then unscrew it again. All right, I might have done. I'm getting nervous now. Oh, it's quite shiny, isn't it? Well, it's got fingerprints all over it now. When you clicked on this video, were you hoping to see me uh, just screw screws in places and uh, 
Talk nonsense? Because if you were, you have come to the right place. Now, I do have other kits. So, um, you know, if you've bumped into this and you thought, oh, that's interesting, I'd like to see more of that. Please like, subscribe, share, follow, hit notifications, all this stuff. Oh my goodness, how much scratch that? What did I set it on? No, nah, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I've got an Explorer kit. I've got a, 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 a Les Paul style thing, Les Paul Jr. And look, there it is. Isn't it beautiful? My guitar. It's, it's, yeah. The neck, yeah. Okay, right. We'll worry, we won't worry too much about uh, setup just yet, but let me put the bits together, screw in the final bits, put the strings on, and then we'll see how it sounds. Okay, so probably would have been easier to do this before I put the neck on, but strap buttons. You get a nice soft squidgy foam bit here and you get the strap button and you get the screw and so it's trying to annoy me now okay This is really good, by the way. I was using that side, and then it's got so you've got two size Phillips and two size flathead. Not that I'm advertising, but I just think it's a really good screwdriver. I'm not convinced anyone would uh, would pay to advertise on my channel. It's not. I don't know. I don't have you know. 100,000 subscribers. Well, I mean, I didn't this morning. Who knows? I might have. Taken <clears throat> however many years to get to 160. Might be dead by the time I get to double that, 320. Who knows? Unless people start suddenly going, Do you know what? That was really interesting. Well, they, I don't know. Depending on what this bridge does, you might have to come back to uh, see it actually in action. Stupid bridge. Right, there was uh, that strap button went on nicely. This one, um, there was a sort of a case of it, the screw kept turning so uh, in the woods. So at some point it will sort of fly out and floor on the ground and crash and everything will break but right strings now you don't need to watch right I am going it just string through there's all sorts of people who go oh you should wrap round or wrap under or maybe that's a different one but I'm going string through anyway and yeah it's gonna I'll lower these while you while we're at it um yeah you might want to watch yeah, so you can just screw these down and that just completely adjusts um, the height of the pickup. I might have these too low, so there's all sorts of things to be done with the setup once it looks like a guitar. It will look like a guitar before it sounds like one. Springs doing their job holding this in place. And we're back, a bit of a technical glitch there. Now I've put this on, and as you can see, it's sitting nicely just lying across the uh, frets. So I was thinking, do I need to, what do I need to do here? But luckily, this nice handy thing here, raising the bridge. And if I raise the bridge, that will move the string away from the frets. That's the first, first approach anyway. 
Right. Oh, it sounds like a guitar. That's pretty exciting, I must admit. Okay. It's got strings. It's got strings. I'm just going to lower the stop tail by screwing it close to the body. Saddle. Okay, we're back. Right, I'm going to tune it, I'm going to strum it, and then we're done. Well, while tuning up the uh, G, or is the G, the G string there, it just fired the, uh, it fired the string tree across the room. So, um, Let's see if we can tighten that up again, or it might be that the wood's too soft, or um, yeah, the screw's not long enough. What I might do is I might have to try and fill the uh, fill the hole with some wood glue and a bit of a match, and then uh, see what I can do from there. But I'll, I'll just give it another go now. It's done. It's actually done. It's a real life, actual working ish guitar. It's 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 jettisoned its string tree. Um, which I'm going to have to sort, but hold on, plug it in. Genuinely didn't think we would get here. Um, I haven't, obviously, one of the pickups is much, much closer to the strings than the other, so. That's the neck. Bridge. And I can see why it is, it's miles away from the pickup. Uh, middle bass. Oh, what a great sound. Uh, let's try. <laughs> let's just turn the volume down a teeny bit. Right, uh, this is this is this is uh, middle. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Rich. Muddy, I love it. Right, I'll do more sounds uh, later on when I've, when I've done a setup, but uh, <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.